Situpara Rajamaha Viharaya is located in the Hambantota district in Sri Lanka. Found in the south of the country, the monastery is situated 18 kilometers east of Katavagama, which is another pilgrimage town. The monastery is said to have been constructed by King Kavantisa in the 2nd century BC. Situpara means the hill of the quiet mind and is a center for Buddhist monks who study Buddhism as their education and is also a central place of worship for pilgrims and devotees across Sri Lanka. An ancient Buddhist monastery, Situlpawa has a rich history of 2,200 years. Travelers can witness profound paintings of the ruins of Anuradhapura, images of stone Lord Buddha, images of circular relic houses and bodhisattva paintings spread across the premises of the monastery. The Yala National Park is home to the City Power Rock Temple, otherwise known as the monastery, and stands at 400 feet. It is believed that thousands of Arahats live in the monastery and there is a historical record to state that a monk named Tissa had reached the state of Arahat and the monastery was built around his remains and the rock temple was also referred to as Tissa Dera Chetia. Travelers must climb a steep stairway that cuts across the rock to reach the top of the monastery. Thus, the name Rock Temple was born. It's a beautiful and ancient temple that is encompassed by serenity and tranquility with stunning prehistoric portraits of Buddhism. The paintings have been done in red and yellow and on a thin layer of plaster. You can visit Sitilpava Buddhist Monastery starting from the Colombo Expressway which will take you through the Southern Expressway. Travelers can go by car or even take a very comfortable air-conditioned bus to reach their destination. If you are already in Hambantota, you can go along the Vallavai Highway and continue to Kirinda which will then take you to Situlpawa Road. If you want to explore the Yala National Park on the way to Situlpawa, you can relish the panoramic views that surround this ancient rock and spot amazing wildlife in Sri Lanka. Get up close to elephants, water buffaloes, wild boars, crocodiles, leopards, monkeys and an abundance of other wildlife, plants and bird species and enjoy the stunning beauty that extends even beyond these green pastures. It's an exhilarating climb through the rocky forest as you make your way to the Situ Power Temple. The views are magnificent and encompassed by breathtaking landscapes. The temple is considered to be a holy place and is accessible by road, although it can be a bumpy ride of 14 kilometers. Moreover, there's glorious scenery to explore at the peak of the rock. The climb up to the rock temple can be particularly challenging so it is best to visit Sithul Power in the morning. By midday, you will definitely experience the sun and heat which makes the climb not as pleasant. You can also choose to visit on a cloudy day when the weather conditions will not be as hot and humid. There are two statues of Lord Buddha at Sithul Power Rock Temple. One lies in a seated position while the other lies in a sleeping position. The sleeping statue is 8 meters long. Aside from the main temple, there are smaller stupas that are built on the premises. Moreover, there are cave houses with ruins of statues and images that are believed to be from the 4th century. However, the entire complex is well maintained although travelers can make their donations for the maintenance of the temple. The temple lies amidst a perfectly peaceful spot in the middle of the forest where you will have a delightful experience of being surrounded by amazing temple chants and the expansive wilderness. It is truly the getaway destination to enjoy all things serene and away from the usual city life. The mountain top offers a sense of beautiful isolation that makes you stop for a minute and delve into deep and meditative thoughts. The temple is the best place to refresh rejuvenate 
and take a much needed breather. Sitilkonga Buddhist Monastery straddles rocky caves and outcrops at the heart of the national park. It's believed there are hundreds of shelters and caves within the premises that have been home to Buddhist monks for centuries. It's a notable site for Buddhist education and meditation. There are sacred rock inscriptions that have also been discovered in the complex. In addition, there are two famous and popular beaches near the Sitilpau Rock Temple. Enjoy a relaxing and charming day at the Kirinda Beach or Hambantala Beach which is just 20 minutes away from the Yala National Park. They are attractive golden sandy beaches located on the southern coast and well worth a visit on your way to Situl Power. The beaches are also fantastic for diving and snorkeling. Travelers, wildlife lovers, bird lovers and others can make their journey to Situl Power Buddhist Monastery an unforgettable experience. Capture stunning images of forests, grasslands and lagoons and incredible and diverse landscapes. This is truly a paradise set in the midst of wild terrain and an important pilgrimage center built over 2000 years ago. It's a great expedition for local and foreign tourists to have the most memorable time at this awe-inspiring rock temple.